What if I told you the real problem isn't screen time, it's power. Here's how to set up your nine to 13 year old for positive screen time by returning power. So as the parent, you're gonna decide how much screen time is available. One hour every day, three hours every day, two hours spread across the weekend. I don't care what you decide, but you decide what's available. Let's say you decide that your kid can have five hours beginning Friday after school and ending Monday when they go to school. I'm gonna say to my 10 to 13 year old, okay, We've got five hours this weekend. And then I'm gonna let them have the five hours. Probably because they don't have a lot of executive function, they're gonna use them all on Friday night. And what's gonna happen is that then on Saturday and Sunday, they're gonna want more because there's gonna be something cool happening with their friends. But they already used them. And you've already made the agreement about the five hours. And now it's your job to sit in the upset and distress. And as they move through the upset and distress, then you get to make a plan with them for next week. Now you're not only supporting power and screen time, but also executive functioning. Make sure you don't jump to problem solving or offering solutions too quickly. You gotta be in the distress for a little bit before you say, huh, wanna talk about what you wanna do next weekend? Help your 10 to 13 year old learn to make a plan. Be with them through that plan. Be with them when the plan fails. Your job is not to fix it. Your job is to provide the parameters and then to hold the space and be a supportive adult figure as they figure out how to exist, how to have power with, how to be inside of those parameters. If you're on the struggle bus with your big kid or teen around screens, Drop me the word screens one in a DM and I will send you my screen time regulation guide. Screens one, so just the word plus the number.